Research is really important. Clinical research is really important for all of our mental health services. It's the only way that we get to know what helps people and to help understand the causes of why people have become unwell when they have. Um, so being active in research is really important for every NHS hospital and for all patients to be aware of research that's going on in their organisation. Um, the Brain Health Centre is an excellent example of bringing research into clinical practice and really making a difference to people. So when patients arrive for their Brain Health Centre appointment, they'll be met by a member of our staff who will welcome them in, will sit down and have an introduction to why they're at their appointment today. We'll then talk through the research options that we offer at the Brain Health Centre whilst they're at their clinical appointment. They can consent to a range of research options at the Brain Health Centre. All optional, but luckily many of our patients take part, which is fabulous. Once the consent process is complete, we go to prepare the patient for the MRI scan. The patient and their relative will go to the dressing room, the patient will get changed into some metal-free pyjamas so they're comfortable in the scanner. And once changed, the radiographer will come and meet them. The radiographer will go through some MRI safety questions with the patient and their relative just to confirm everything's safe to go in the MRI scanner. Then we'll take the patient through to the MRI scanner. The patient will be given some earplugs to protect their ears from the noise of the scanner. They'll lie flat on the bed. They're given uh, cushions, some blankets to make sure they're very comfortable. And then the patient slowly moves into the scanner itself and the scan will begin. The scan takes around 15 minutes for the clinical part of the scan. If they agree to take part in some additional research scans, it's an additional 15 minutes in the scanner. So once the scan is finished, the patient will um, come out, get changed back into their own clothes, um, and then will go to complete some neuropsychological assessments. So that takes around half an hour and that's part of the clinical assessment. Then if they've consented to give a saliva sample, they will provide us with that saliva sample. The Brain Health Centre is integrated clinical research infrastructure to enable patients to be given the best possible assessments as part of their memory clinic appointment and to create, a, it, we kind of call it a translational interface so that uh, the research that we're doing within the university can be most easily and most quickly translated into benefits for patients. So we want the research that we do to be relevant to all patients but typically the way that we've done research in the past is to select a, a, a small group of patients and, and invite them to participate in a particular study. That means that the research that we do is, uh, is only done on that small minority and, it's, and that might mean that it's not relevant to the full patient population. Patients do benefit uh, um, from uh, the setup of the Brain Health Centre. Um, it has been a great opportunity to empower the diagnosis of dementia and empower our patients. They had been part of how the Brain Health Centre had been set up. They had um, uh, the feedback so far had been extremely positive and um, there are very, very um, great benefits for patients and for clinicians.